Hello everybody! Welcome if you are new. We are going to show what I picked up from the free comic book day. I didn't do it last year or the year before because I only picked up like one comic so it wasn't really worth a video. And this time I picked up a handful. Um, by the time I got there, even like 10 minutes after this, the shop had opened, like good half of the comics were gone, but I did pick up a couple comics for a buddy of mine and I snagged a few for myself. So we'll start off with, I picked up the Assassin's Creed Destiny Valhalla, like it was like a two for one. It was cool. I read it. I liked it. Next I got The Life is Strange. It is got the one with the first and then it's got True Colors on the back end. So that was cool. I liked that one. Next is Dungeon. Uh, Dungeon is a spoof of Dungeons and Dragons. It's basically like a, a mashup of different stories and then they make it like a kind of like Mad Lib or something like that. I did see they had one last Judge Dredd so I grabbed that. Love Judge Dredd. And they had one last Just Beyond R.L. Stein's Just Beyond. And I definitely wanted to pick that up for sure. I love R.L. Stein. For anybody who knows, I loved Fear Street growing up and Goosebumps. This one was intriguing to me. I didn't know anything about it, but it's Enter the House of Slaughter. The artwork alone just like was gory and so looking good. So the next one is Who Sparked the Montgomery Bus Boycott, Rosa Parks. I've never seen a comic like that before, but I had to get it for sure. Then it is The Last Kids on Earth, The Thrilling Tales of the Treehouse. Um, I have a couple books that I found. Um, I started watching the show on Netflix, didn't even know there was books. And then I got the game, really enjoyed the game. And so I saw this was there for free, so I snagged it up for sure. The next one is The Mighty Nine Origins. Um, I do watch Critical Role. Uh, I watched since the beginning and I love the two campaigns. I do watch other shows, it's not just Critical Role, but they had a free comic for it. And also on the back end, it was The Witcher. I normally don't collect all the comics, um, but if it's got The Witcher in it, I'm gonna see what it is about. So it's the front end is Critical Role, the back end is The Witcher. So if you missed that, sorry. And the last one is Zoro. Uh, for those who don't know, I love Zoro for many different reasons. Uh, I used to joke that mom had a boyfriend who was Zoro and it was a good time. But uh, this one looks like there's a twist to it. It's got supernatural horror somewhere in it. And it really is still keeping with the Zoro theme. I do have, fun fact, a really old comic of Zoro from back in the day. It is really beat up, but it's still so cool to see that they have, you know, like, uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. It's supposed to be Walt Disney. I didn't know Walt Disney had Zoro back in the day, but it says Zoro attacks a pirate ship to recover Garcia's plundered gold. Uh, it says Gold Key was the comics back in the day. It came out in August and it was 1960. Wow. So uh, let me crack open just like one page. So let me see because it is falling apart a little bit. But here, we'll show you this part. And we'll just show you like a little bit of comic goodness for my comic friends who like comics. And I also wanted just to highlight a couple comics. Um, I do have one of the Life is Strange because this comic is really thick, you know, so it's not like, uh, cause I do, I have read the other ones online. Um, there is websites that you could just pay to watch and read comics all day. And so I got the first one. Um, I really don't collect big sets anymore like I used to. There's very few comics that'll collect a set of something. Unless there's like a collection where they put all the collection into one big bind, I'll do that. But um, the last big set was Powerpuff Girls. But the last two that I wanted to highlight was I have two Street Fighter based off of the video game comics 
These are really cool. Um, I have numbers five and six. Uh, they were really popular back then, but sadly when I went to the comic shop every time they were sold out. So I just grabbed five and six. I was like, I'm not gonna get a complete set. But that was my pickups for free comic book day. Let me know which ones did you snag if you did grab any and which ones did you miss out that you were sad that you didn't get. I know there is some comic shops that after the free day comic day they do sell them on the side. Um, some comics uh, they just charge like $10 and I don't know why but I don't pay you that. If I don't get it I don't get it. So hopefully you snag some good ones and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me also know in the comments what comics do you have that are based off of video games that you think I should read. And I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody! Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games too